What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Salty Sportster. Have you ever had a weekend just not go your way? Well, that was the weekend for me and the wife. Bad luck, bad weather, combination of the two really prevented me from making the video that I wanted for you guys. And so that'll get bookmarked and we'll do that later on down the road. We got a new subscriber to the channel. I can't see who you are yet, but you know who you are. And I definitely appreciate you checking out the videos and subscribing. I hope that we're putting out stuff that you'll enjoy. Because I didn't want to leave you empty handed two weeks in a row, I'm on call this week. I won't be able to do anything for you guys. I got out in the garage last night and I did a little impromptu DIYing. Stay tuned. When we get back to the garage, I'll show you what we did. We got the stuff right here behind us. Let me get you flipped. All right, so we got an old cooler that the top's been giving us a tough time, so we don't care if we mess it up. Got a bubble stone, just in case the one that comes with the bubble box doesn't seem sufficient, but that was the only size they had, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. Same thing with the tubing back here, just in case what comes with the bubble box isn't what we like, we got some tubing, we got some batteries to run the bubble box, double-sided tape for either the tubing or the soap box that we're gonna have in the cooler, and then we've got some marine silicone to seal the hole that we're gonna drill and the drill bit that we're gonna be using because that is just a little bit larger than the tubing itself. Bottom of the cooler is a little too short for this guy. I want it to be about 12 inches long, so let's see here, we got about half an inch for that nipple there, so we're going to go 11 and a half. Soapstone has been cut and stuck into the bottom of the cooler. Now we are going to drill us a hole got the soapstone connected to the tubing now we're going to see where about we want our box to mount which right there looks pretty good get us a slit made into the cooler here bubble box is mounted there to the side of the cooler we're just gonna run the tubing over here get our distance and snip that. There you have it. Simple, easy DIY live well. We've got the bubble box mounted to the side. We cut us a little slit on the side of the cooler so we could slide that clip in there. And then we added a little bit of double-sided tape just to hold it nice and secure. Got our hole that we drilled siliconed up. It does not have to be perfect. It's not gonna be holding back pressure or anything like that. And for now, I have just taped this tubing to the inside, but that's probably not how I'm gonna be leaving it. Our soapstone down in the bottom and we've got some water here so we can test it out. There you have it. Simple, easy DIY live well for you guys. A couple more things that I will be doing is drilling some holes into this top and adding some spray foam insulation. Because this is just so loose and sloppy, it comes off very easily. I'll be adding some straps to this top to hold it 
nice and secure and then when we actually do throw some fish into the cooler i will throw some frozen water bottles in there just to help keep the water nice and cool but this is the basics take it customize it it's your sandbox you play in it however you want to but hopefully this will help